Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to customize iMovie 11 to look a lot like Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started. So before we start, I want to give a big shout out to Matt from Matt's Macintosh for uh, inspiring me to make this video. Uh, Matt made a similar video about a week ago, and I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to share with you the techniques he used uh, to uh, customize iMovie 11 to look like Final Cut Pro 10. So Matt, thanks very much, and uh, I'm going to be providing a link to Matt's video at the end of this video and also in the description. So <clears throat> what we're going to do really quickly here is we're going to do a couple tweaks to iMovie 11 to make it look a lot like Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, before we do that, the big question is, why would you want to do that? Well, uh, I'm going to explain that to you after we do um, this customization. So the first thing we want to do is we've got two windows here. We've got the project window up here, and we've got the events library with the clips from this event right here. And I've got the iPad 2 giveaway uh, movie open. And by the way, the iPad 2 giveaway is still going on. So if you haven't entered, uh, go ahead and enter the iPad 2 giveaway. The link is in the description for that. So what we want to do is we want to first swap these two windows out um, to uh, get a lot of the look and feel of um, Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, you just click this button right here. So now we've got our uh, project window down here, which gives us a lot more room to work with. Um, the next thing we want to do uh, is we want to uh, get rid of the stacking of the clips, and we want a linear timeline view of uh, the clips that are in the project window. So to do that, you simply come over here and click this button. And now you've got a much more straight line, linear timeline of the clips in your project window. And I think, and a lot of other people feel too, that it makes it um, a lot easier to edit your video this way. And this really looks a lot more like um, uh, Final Cut Pro 10 as well. So the next thing we want to do is we want to detach the audio from the video. So I've already done that in this clip. And we're going to come over here and do that to this clip. So you want to select the clip like that, right click on it, and say Detach Audio and it's now detached the audio. Now we want to expand the audio so you have much more control over editing the audio and to do that you come over here and click on this button right here and that expands the audio giving you more control over the audio so you can click on the audio track and drag it to the right, drag it to the left. Um, this is really effective if you're going to be doing some uh, voiceovers and that you would do with uh, that button right there. So now we want to come up to the uh, clip in the events um, library here and we want to do the same thing. So you just come over here and click on that button and now the um, audio is displayed as well. So really that's all there is to it. You, just a simple uh, couple of tweaks and um, iMovie 11 looks a lot like uh, Final Cut Pro 10. Let's look at that really quick again. So here's the look that we are trying to achieve. And here is what uh, iMovie 11 looks like after we've made those tweaks. And uh, although it doesn't look exactly like Final Cut Pro 10, and of course it wouldn't, it certainly looks a lot more like um, Final Cut Pro 10 than it did uh, previously. So why would you want to do this? Well, um, there's a lot of people out there, including myself, that are planning on upgrading to Final Cut Pro 10. And um, this is a great way to get used to the user environment of Final Cut Pro 10. Again, the layout is a lot similar. So if you're planning on using or upgrading or transitioning to Final Cut Pro 10, this is a great way uh, to get an initial uh, feel for the user interface. And it also makes using iMovie 11 uh, a lot uh, more uh, efficient. Having the project down here in this project window instead of up here gives you a lot more room to work on. So if you guys are thinking about upgrading to Final Cut Pro 10, leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you guys think of Final Cut Pro 10? Are you going to be upgrading? We'd like to know that. So if you're going to be upgrading, leave a comment down below. If you're not, let us know why. Uh, if you like this video, as always, uh, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below. And again, another shout out to Matt's Macintosh. Uh, a link to Matt's channel is in the description and will be at the end of the video. Also, there's a link to the iPad 2 giveaway in the description as well. So thanks, everyone, for stopping by, and until next time, I will talk to you later.